There was a terrible winter full of multiple storms uh, in the late 1860s where uh, hundreds of sailors were lost uh, on the East Coast and on the Great Lakes. The whole region was really struck. And so there was public outcry uh, that, you know, you guys got to do something about this. And that's when the Lighthouse Service, uh, Congress really started to pay some attention and they started to expand. Uh, and the smartest thing they ever did was appoint uh, a guy named uh, Increase Kimball. Kimball was uh, the perfect guy at the perfect time. Uh, and then he started adding some standardization to both training and equipment. He started looking for the ideal places to put uh, life-saving stations. Um, he actually visited uh, Sturgeon Bay in 1863 to pick out the place that and approve the place where the canal station would be built. And uh, of course it was completed in 1886 and it's still in the same location. Uh, and of course the main station is in the same building uh, that was completed in 1886. So there were two other uh, life-saving stations on the peninsula, uh, at, one at Bailey's Harbor and one at Plum Island. Like the lighthouses of Door Peninsula, there were eight life-saving stations along the coast, along the Wisconsin Lake Michigan coastline. Three of those were in the Door Peninsula. So, I mean, it kind of, again, it just kind of tells you the importance of the, the area geographically uh, and uh, economically to the shipping industry, as well as how treacherous it was. It's a, you know, a dolomite finger sticking out into the, into the middle of the water. And, uh, you know, you just have to make one error and now you're in trouble. I, I think the, the surfmen, the, the life-saving service uh, personnel, these were the most selfless individuals of any profession I think that you will ever find. These were guys who would go out into the worst conditions uh, at a time when a much larger vessel was now in peril. So, you know, the regulations say you have to go out. It doesn't say anything about coming back. And that was the, that was the mentality. I mean, they went out. That was the Life Saving Service's only job, was to be out there watching for shipwrecks, when a shipwreck was identified or a mariner was in peril, do whatever you needed to do to save those folks. The first key tool for a successful life-saving station was their watchtower. There'd be a watchman in the tower. Additionally, there'd be a watchman walking the beach. So once the distress call went up, the station would spring into action. And they really had three kind of main uh, components of their ability to render aid. One was, uh, was the lifeboat. And the lifeboat was a bigger, heavier, uh, more capable self-riding boat. Uh, and that's the ones you see stored in the station that would slide down the ramp and into the water and, and they would all you know, pull on their oars and uh, you got the keeper on his sweep and you know, that's the classic image. The last key piece of uh, equipment was uh, the beach cart. And the, the beach cart was just that, a cart full of equipment that could be used uh, to send a line out uh, to the ship and rig uh, basically a pulley system uh, with a, a breeches buoy. And it's just that, it's a life ring with a pair of breeches, a pair of pants in it so the guy could get into this thing. And you could haul them across uh, from, from the ship so you'd rig that pulley. Well, to get the line out there, um, they had a cannon that could launch an incredible projectile uh, for a, quite a distance to get a line out. So then you could use that line to pull over more lines and get this, get this uh, breeches buoy uh, rigged so you could pull the, the folks ashore. Let's face it, shipwrecks uh, didn't happen on a, a beautiful, sunshiny Sunday afternoon in calm seas. It was always the worst of conditions, probably in the wintertime, because that's when it was the most dangerous here on the Great Lakes. Uh, the gales of November are uh, uh, no joke. Uh, it's uh, absolutely true. That's when the, the, the crummiest weather was, and that's when these guys would uh, they'd go to work. Thank you.